Commander, you are ordered to patrol around Guadalcanal. The Americans desperately want this island. We've stopped them before, but they'll be back. No matter. If they return, they'll be destroyed. Okay, so we are currently leading a recon in force. We have the Cruiser Tone under our command, and the Cruiser Tone is a bit different compared to other cruisers of its comparable size, in that <coughs> all their gun turrets was forward mounted, meaning that they had increased forward firepower but uh, reduced firepower when it came to um, ordnance pointing in the rear. Now this is a very off- Mayday! Mayday! We are hit! We are abandoning the ship! That's the other patrol ship gone. It's up to us alone to retaliate. Okay, so the Americans have sent a recon plane, so right now we are busy using our superior anti-aircraft weaponry to try and rid, rid us of it, while, uh, while our seaplane is trying to destroy it. It is kind of vital that our seaplane actually gets that recon plane. I don't want the, the enemy... Are fleeing, sir. Go to fleet speed. Get them. Oh. Sir, we have a few enemy destroyers in range. Attack and destroy them. They'll regret straying so close to us. Alright, uh, we'll leave our plane to get the Kingfisher. And we will be heading in a straight line here. We'll also send our secondary scouting plane in over the American Formation C so that we are not surprising it. Now, if you're wondering what game this is, this is uh, Battle Station specific. And it's actually one of my guilty pleasures. Long before games like War Thunder and stuff like that appeared and... Uh, pretty much took over the arcade formula that this game used. Enemy ship has been sighted, sir. This game was the primary option for that kind of games. Okay, so let's keep firing and hopefully sir, we'll get we that last an enemy ship. You can basically command the different units, but you can also leave them to their own devices. However, they're far more powerful in your hands. So, right now we have two seaplanes at our command and we also have we actually have a destroyer we need to destroy, the USS Alden. And the Tone is a bit different, like I said, having four guns arrayed at the front. So, in order to actually finish off the USS Parrot, we are going to have the Eva take control of the RD ourselves, and yeah, there we go. The USS Parrot has been destroyed. Minimal casualties to our own weapons. That's also something you have to manage in this game. You have to manage your ship's uh, damage and make sure that the enemy actually... Uh, that any damages are repaired. Unrepaired damages will very quickly wear down your ship. And don't believe that just because these are smaller ships, destroyers, that they're not dangerous. One of those destroyers is completely able to uh, put a number of torpedoes into us, which would be a very bad Enemy thing. Ship has been sighted, sir. We are taking damage, sir. Right now, they're only in range of their guns, however, meaning that we can finish them rather easily. We also have a secondary objective of taking down the destroyer straight ahead. So we will be steaming at full speed against the enemy destroyer and opening fire 
once we cross their T. Crossing their T basically means that if this was uh, the base of the T, then we are basically the shaft of it. However, the Tama class light cruiser seems content on wanting to deny us this. However, the Torna is an effective offensive weapon. So right now we're putting a lot of rounds into the USS Alden. Really, the USS Alden will at this point not have many chances to actually survive. Especially not as we are going to take over our artillery ourselves and aim for the enemy magazine. Aiming for the magazine is usually the fastest way to sink an enemy ship. Success. Target has been destroyed. You have gained a naval supply. A naval supply has been received. It's ready to use. Okay, contact straight ahead. USS Brooks. That's our next target. All forward guns stand by. Sir, we have sighted an enemy ship. Sir, enemy fleet incoming. A trap. We've been lured in. How could we have been so foolish? Enemy battleships on our flanks. Radio back to HQ. Takao requesting backup. We've encountered an American strike fleet. This is an emergency. Open fire on no the answer, Brooks. Sir. Send it again. Takao is requesting backup. We've encountered an American strike fleet. This is an emergency. We hear you, Takao. Pull back. Our task force is on the way. I've lost control! Sir, we have sighted an enemy ship. Enemy planes are heading right towards us. One interesting fact about the Tone is that she's also a bit of an airplane cruiser, especially in this game. And that means she has a lot of seaplanes that can be used to hunt submarines. Right now, however, we are scrambling them to try and use them to engage the Catalinas that, and uh, other airplanes that are going to try and attack our fleet. Right now, the US South Dakota, a United States battleship, is on their way in. We can only use our lighter uh, pieces to defend against aircraft, but those P-30, uh, P-40 Warthogs doesn't seem very interested in dealing with us. We're gonna try and engage and destroy the USS Bulmer on our way out, so that any reinforcements will have less units to deal with. But it also looks like the enemy knows that the Tone is the strongest ship in the fleet and decide to try and harry our light cruisers first. We need to be careful. Uh, the USS Bulmer is currently really looking like they want to put torpedoes in our asses. And if they put a torpedo in our asses, then uh, the South Dakota might actually catch up. But we don't want them to do that. Even though it actually risks us uh, more towards a torpedo attack by turning into them, our lighter guns are multi-purpose. All right, the, uh, the destroyer has been destroyed, but our engine has been disabled, even without a torpedo hit, which is kind of annoying. We'll have to use our lighter guns and whatever angles we can get with our forward guns in order to fight this fighting withdrawal. The Tone is not really made for this. Of course, this act particular action is pretty much what-if history. In this particular case, the Japanese have already won the Battle of Midway. In said Battle of Midway, the Tone is quite infamous because uh, she had a problem with her catapult, making one of her recon planes about 30 minutes late. And uh, this recon plane later discovered the American fleet, uh, proving to the Japanese that they actually had some serious opposition at Midway. So she's pretty much clouded in a lot of mystery and uh, regarding how 
if uh, if her catapult had worked, would uh, would the Battle of Midway had a different outcome? I would, however, say that the Battle of Midway was pretty much uh, not really a foregone conclusion. But considering the lack of intelligence and the fact that the Japanese did not have the desire to get any intelligence, I would say that. Uh, the have taken hold everywhere, sir. All right, that that's it. The USS Brooks have harried us long enough. She can only do that because we are lacking the very vital aft turrets. So I'm gonna switch to torpedoes. I'm going to let our artillery batteries We've got fire on board. do their job. We may be running, but we are going to show the Americans that we do not run easily. Torpedoes in the water! Torpedoes in the water! God damn it! Dorsal hit. I say again, dorsal hit. Bring out the pumps. All right, let's uh, let's put as many torpedoes in the water as we can towards the South Dakota. Just saturate and launch all our torpedoes in their general direction. Sooner or later, we're bound to hit something, right? Introducing one of the largest battleships ever made, the Yamashiro. Uh, Yamashiro Task Force, you're clear to move to these coordinates. The Tone will not be disengaging, the Tone will keep up their engagement. But we'll try to draw the USS South Dakota to you. Light Cruiser Tama, you will be forming up with the Tone. Prepare to repair the ornaments of the Tone. Incoming enemy aircraft, dead ahead, Warhawks. And at least one Catalina. Bombs from American aircraft. I want the Tornet to really hammer these guys and try and clear a path for the battleships. The Tornet's guns are so powerful that right now it uh, it would be a shame not to use them to their full effect. Uh, regarding our torpedoes that we sent towards the South Dakota, it doesn't appear that any of them hit. But we just rid ourselves of another another American destroyer. We're gonna try and lure the enemy into range of the Yamashiro task force anyway. God damn it, the engines are out again. U.S. is strong and U.S. is softly are our primary concerns at this point. Yeah, here is a formation setting. We use this uh, to try and dictate the formation of the Tama compared to the heavy cruiser. There we go. So Tone and the Tama are currently heavily damaged. About 50%. They're taking that I think they're actually taking fire from the South Dakota and we can't allow that. Yeah, they're taking fire from the South Dakota. Repair the fires first, then repair the ornaments. 
Take us on a course directly away from South Dakota. Okay, so the P-40 has been destroyed. Focus firepower on the U.S. is strong. We're losing engine power. The U.S. is strong has been destroyed. We are currently getting out of range of the South Dakota. Yamashiro Task Force will now be moving closer to our location. Firing on the USS Softlane. Direct hits. Reload the guns. We missed that. Landed a bit closer. Yeah, we got her. The American dis battleship is now without its destroyer escort. We'll head straight for the Kirishima and the Yamashiro. These are powerful battleships right here. Come and think of it, I'm not actually sure they are Jamato class. They might actually be Congo class. I'm not actually sure about that. My knowledge about Amer Japanese warships is a bit rusty. I'm pretty much... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't actually say I'm confident about identifying any ship in the theater, regardless if it is uh, American or Japanese. I know the obvious ones, of course, but... Like Fletcher, Clemson, some of the US carriers. But my expertise has have usually been aircraft. We're going to adjust this uh, formation a bit more and put it more in a line abreast. The South Dakota is now three kilometers away. We are going to... Oh crap, the South Dakota is raking the Tama. The Tama is far too close. And our own battleship squadron is too, still too far away. I'm going to send what aircraft we have to try and scout further to see what we have actually got in the region. But the South Dakota is really punishing the Tama right now. We need to take out, put out the fires on board and prep the Tone for a torpedo assault. The Tone still have 12 torpedoes and that's enough to make the South Dakota's day a lot worse. However, we really want to wait until our own battleships have opened fire. In fact, I think actually... Sir, we have sighted an enemy ship. We'll fire as many long lance torpedoes as we can. Okay, we have more United States battleships. We have the USS Indiana, as well as several destroyers in a task force there. Uh, here's hoping that our long lance torpedoes from the Tama actually hits. It looks like the volley might actually do its job. If if so, that's actually quite a good vengeance for... Nah, I think we might actually... Nah, no confirmed torpedo hits. Range was just too great. Time for the Tornet to charge the enemy. Prep the torpedoes. 
it is my hope that we will be able to time this well with uh, uh, our own battleships opening fire. If we can time this right, we are going to sink the South Dakota easily. We are taking damage, sir. Right now, the engines needs to work above all else. The problem is that right now the South Dakota is getting... Oh crap, there are three enemy enemy ships on the scene. At least three enemy battleships. Tona will expend all her tor all available torpedoes. Tama will do the same. All possible torpedoes aim at the South Dakota. We need to take out the South Dakota yesterday. The Tana is not going to live through this engagement. Our own battleships have opened fire. Looks like the first volley from the Tana did not actually hit the target. Confirmed hits on the South Dakota with torpedoes. We need to repair the engine so we can turn us around and use the torpedo launchers on the other side. But we lost the Tony. I say again, we lost the Tony. These torpedoes didn't even have the goddamn sense to hit the other two United States battleships. We're sending up another recon ship. We're putting as many torpedoes in the water as we hu is as humanly possible. But now the Tama is out of torpedoes. The South Dakota is not gonna live through this engagement. We're taking control of the Yamashiro. All guns. Fire. <laughs> South Dakota has been destroyed. Next target, USS Indiana. Three kilometers out. The enemy has opened fire. Confirmed. At least one light cruiser is with the enemy. This is not good for us. We'll have our destroyer escort launch as many torpedoes in a volley as possible. Anything to do, just disrupt the enemy formation at this point. All guns! USS Indiana, fire! We did not bracket the target. Volley. Aim for the magazine. The Indiana is on fire. Another volley. The and Indiana's engines are out. Looks like some of those torpedoes might have actually done some damage. Nice. Heavy and medium guns are now firing on the USS Indiana. Hit on the magazine. Just keep on firing on the Indiana. We don't... We really need to take her out. Enemy now we got her. 
Aim for the USS method shooters. Fire on her magazine and break the USS English while we're at it. She's taking enough damage. She's the English has been destroyed and the, e the tsunami has uh, reloaded its torpedo banks. Torpedo is now heading for the USS Massachusetts. We can confirm that the U.S. Indiana have not been sunk. The Uliani will be deploying her torpedoes in succession. Full volley. Sir, the enemy is outnumbered. Excellent. Then we'll simply shatter what remains of their fleet. Sir, we've lost contact with our squadron. We've destroyed many of the enemy support ships, and the Indiana is gone. Massachusetts is next. Enemy vessel, now sinking. That's two less battleships for us to worry about. With no casualties to our own side. We're not supposed to let any U.S. Uh, ships escape, but we've pretty much handled that. A glorious victory, and all it cost us was a heavy cruiser. The fate of Guadalcanal has been sealed. The ambush that the enemy planned went disastrously wrong for them. We were simply stronger and better prepared. Nothing is as powerful and mighty as our battleship. And so the Americans were crushed. It's kind of annoying that take down the enemy recon plane was the only thing we failed. We managed to destroy all enemy sh ships. We managed to not let the enemy destroy escape. We managed to keep all Japanese battleships operational but we only got a silver medal because we never took down recon plane kind of annoying <laughs>